One of the great features of Microsoft Windows is the ability to quickly tile your application windows. And you'll be pleased to hear that this functionality has now come to Mac OS with the latest version, Sequoia. In this Quick Tips video, I'm going to show you how it works and show you some keyboard shortcuts. But if you're not yet on Mac OS Sequoia, don't worry, I've got something for you as well, a third-party app that will give you all of the same functionality and a bit more. So tiling is switched on by default in Sequoia. And to use it, Let's suppose I want to put this one on the right-hand side and this one on the left-hand side. Well, I can just drag the window over to the side of the screen and you can see we get that prompt box come up, let go, and the windows are now tiled. And if I want to make one of these windows fill the whole screen, I just drag up to the top of the screen like this. Now, one thing you do need to just be a little bit careful of, if you're using multiple desktops, then some of these actions are the same as moving a window from one of your virtual desktops to another. So uh, you need to just be quite careful in the way that you hit the edge of the screen. So actually, keyboard shortcuts are really useful in this case. Let me show you how those work. So for these keyboard shortcuts, you're going to be holding the FN key on your keyboard and the Control key together. So if I do that now, and I'll use the left arrow, that's going to immediately move my window over to the left side of the screen. FN, Control, and right arrow, as you expect, puts it on the right-hand side. But we can also use the same shortcut, FN, Control, up for the top half and down for the bottom half of the screen. What if we want our window to fill the screen? Well, then it's FN, Control, and F. And if we want to bring our window into the center of the screen, FN, Control, and C. Now, because we've got two windows open, generally speaking, we'll want to just move both of those side by side nice and quickly. And we can do that with a keyboard shortcut as well. So it's FN and Control again. This time, add the Shift key. You've got to get quite dexterous with your fingers for this one. So FN, Control, Shift, and then let's say we want this window on the right-hand side and this one on the left, then we'll press the right arrow. So because we press the right arrow key, it takes the window that's active and puts it on the right side, and it takes the window that was most recently active and puts it on the other side. So we could switch sides by doing FN, Shift and Control and left, and it'll switch them. Right switches them back again. We can also do up and down in the same way. So whichever is the active window, that's the one that's going to end up in the direction you press the arrow key. And whichever window you use most recently before the active window, that will fill the other position. So that's tiling in Sequoia. Now those with keen eyes among you will have noticed that uh, there's a gap between the windows. And on Microsoft Windows, you don't get a gap. So some people really don't like this margin. And you'll be pleased to hear you can turn that off. If we go up to the Apple logo up here and go into our system settings, then if you choose desktop and dock and scroll down to the section that says windows, and you'll see that we've got an option in here at the bottom, tiled windows have margins. And if I switch that off, you'll see immediately the windows there lose their margins and the gap between. Some people like the margins, some people don't. It's dead easy to change it to your preference. Now, what if you don't have Mac OS Sequoia, but you'd like some of this tiling functionality? Well, then third-party apps come into play, and there's a number to choose from. The one that I've personally used for many years is called Magnet, and it's about $10 on the App Store. So let me just show you Magnet in operation. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll switch off tiling here. Let's just close our system settings, and I'll open Magnet. Now, because I've already set up Magnet as an app on my machine, it just appears up here in the menu bar. And at any point, I can click on that and I can be prompted for some of the most common shortcuts. Uh, but it also works in the same way that Sequoia's tiling does. So I just drag the window over to the side of the screen and I can tile it there over to the right. But you notice we can also come down to the corners. We can have a quarter screen or we can go straight to the left. So basically the same functionality as we get in Sequoia. But Magnet does take that a step further. We could also split our windows into thirds if we wanted to, and we get all of the keyboard shortcut customizations as well. If I go up to the menu bar and then click on Magnet and come down to Settings, and you see then if I click on the Command icon over here, you can actually fully customize all of this and set up a keyboard shortcut for each one of your customizations. Here's another really cool feature in Magnet. If you use Magnet on more than one Mac, you have an option in the settings here 
uh, to synchronize your settings via iCloud. So if you set up some custom tiling options and keyboard shortcuts, you can have that synchronized across all your Macs so you can work seamlessly across them all. So this is a much more powerful system and it is worth the small asking price. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video, this is just the app that I prefer to use. And there's nothing stopping you continuing to use Magna if you have upgraded to Sequoia. So there you go, a quick overview of tiling in macOS, both using Sequoia's inbuilt functionality and using a third-party app like Magna. I hope you found these quick tips useful and you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you again soon for some more geekery.